Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little uh, ratting video and just to kind of test how much profit we can make. Uh, and just to give you guys some tips and tricks and give you guys a solid build to play with. Let's start with the build. Um, so you're going to be wanting to play Mage Carl uh, on the third ability for clearing. And then you're going to want to switch uh, to the second ability uh, when you uh, are invaded. Next, we're going to uh, want to be playing Clerical and always on the third ability regardless of if you're ratting or if uh, you're PvEing. Next, we're going to be playing uh, Royal Sandals. It's used for um, PvE and running away. It has a unpurgeable run, which allows us to not be purged, which makes ratting a lot easier and it has increased damage for PvE. We'll be playing this on the third ability. The weapon we will be using are Bear Paws, they have some very good mobility as well as PvE clearing. We'll be playing this on the third Q, the last W and um, obviously the E. Uh, when we uh, however get ratted we'll switch to the second W for increased mobility. Lastly we have the capes. You can either play Undead Cape or Third Foot Cape. Undead Cape uh, provides more survivability and Third Foot Cape provides more damage which uh, increases your clear speed. I would recommend playing Thetford Cape. I was ratting for about four hours and I think I was invaded around four times in that time span and I didn't end up dying once. The only death I had was because I decided to fight uh, because I got a little bit bored of the ratting. So personally I would recommend using the Thetford Cape because it has a, a lot of extra damage which improves clear speed and you aren't really going to be dying a lot while ratting if you rat correctly which I'll show you how to do later in the video. Now when it comes to what mount you should be using, I'd recommend using a stag for the increased carry weight. Uh, you will be dying very rarely like I've said with this build, so the extra silver you'll be spending on a stag will definitely be worth it and increase the amount of silver per hour you'll be making because you'll have to back uh, way less. When it comes to what food you should use, uh, you have two choices, you can either use cabbage soup or beef stew. Cabbage soup I'd recommend if you're just kind of trying to watch some Netflix on the side and just do some series and chill. Beef stew requires a little bit more focus, it will bring your clear speed down, but you have to be a lot more careful of not getting low to mobs because then you'll lose the time you would have gained by using it on the regen time. Uh, the average clear speed uh, for this build would be around 6 minutes, but you can drop that uh, by using beef stew, but that's completely up to you. Now let's take a look at what you should be doing in case you get invaded. First things first, you should immediately swap to inverse potions. Uh, I did not do that in this case, I only swapped a little bit later. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check the map to try and get an idea of where it is uh, by looking at mob movements. Uh, in this case I was very lucky, I could see he aggroed the boss and from that point I knew exactly where he was and I could simply just go in the opposite direction. A good thing to keep in mind however is um, that they can never spawn too close to you. They'll always be um, basically on the other side of the map uh, from you when you spawn. So if you're close to a crystal, instantly break it and wait until you have enough information of where they are on the map. And then you can easily just go in the opposite direction and you'll most likely have more mobility than them. And even if they do catch up to you, you'll still have your bop and your inverse pot and your boots won't be purgeable. Now let's take a look at um, your speed when clearing bosses. You're going to want to start with your uh, boots ability and then pop your robe with your W. Uh, and then I ended up using my helmet ability before I used my E, but I'd recommend using your um, E ability before your helmet ability after throwing the poison uh, to utilize um, uh, the poison pot as much as possible because your E does quite a bit more damage than your um, helmet does. But it's, as you can see, uh, this build has some very good uh, boss clear speed. Just a small little tip if you're new, I'd always recommend clearing the caches. I have an image up on the screen of how they look like. Uh, they oftentimes can drop uh, 20 to 50k silver, which is sometimes even more than you'll be getting from the chests. So this is some very nice silver. Sometimes they're going to be absolute garbage, but it's always worth clearing them. Let's take a look at how much you can be expecting to make uh, when ratting. Um, these are Slayer Dungeons, just a disclaimer. You can expect to make around uh, one more fame per hour. This is including the terms you'll be getting from uh, some chests that only drop non-tradable terms. You can expect to make roughly 2.2 million silver an hour uh, if you have premium and 1.2 million silver an hour if you do not have premium. 
uh, like I said, the average clear speed for this build is around six minutes, so you can be, you can get through quite a lot, uh, and there's always chances of getting some good chests, some legendary, some epics that could also increase um, your silver power with this method. So after four hours of routing, I ended up with uh, 8.92 million silver. Uh, 89 um, tier 4 silver bags and about 1.1 more worth of uh, flat silver bags uh, tier 1 and about 791 uh, non-tradable tomes this is definitely not a bad silver uh, method for a new player it's like I said about 2.2 mil an hour which can be very very good for a new player um, it might not be the best fame however, I'm pretty sure there are some very um, good fame farming methods at the moment uh, But I'm not completely up to date uh, with the fame farming scene as I'm a veteran player who hasn't bothered with fame farming in quite a while So if this is something you're interested in and you'd like uh, maybe a tips and tricks video that just completely focuses on tips and tricks uh, Let me know in the comments But otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video And I'll be uploading again soon